Yeah, you probably see all these cannons, right? These cannons, now they overlook parts of the city, but before, that, that's all unreclaimed land that grew in this boa. But before these cannons used to be able to shoot the balls out and like try to get the Dutch in particular who, who tried to take over Macau a few times from the Portuguese. But we're going to walk up and down this uh, fortress and kind of show you what it's all about. Hey, after you watch this, tell me what you like most about it. Put it in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you can see when I make other videos too. Okay, so you have all these cannons. These cannons go all the way around as well, and this is one of the higher points. Um, also, this, this is like one of the entrances to come up here. You come up through the to the um, door down there. Then this is a um, nice historical value, and then you can kind of see over there as well. But we are going to be highlighting these cannons. 1860, it says, right now it's 1920, uh, 2022, got a whole row of cannons here, and yeah, this just stays here, um, Macau is a colonial city, of course, the Portuguese, and I think originally what they were, they, um, they were allowed to stay here because um, the European armies were a lot stronger than the Chinese armies, so they wanted a strong Portuguese army, which was friendly, and they would, uh, prevent the other ones, particularly the Dutch and other groups of Europeans who were also coming up into Canton as well. So the Portuguese had this to protect their their, their city. And um, and then by default, they were allowed to stay here because they also protected uh, Guangzhou, Kent, the Cantonese area of China. So they had some nice purposes here. And then yeah, that that's um, I guess these all say 1860s, so I guess they got these ready at that particular time. And then um, a lot of that, if you see like the Macau Tower in there and the Grand Lisboa, that's all on reclaimed land. So stuff that was originally here would have been um, not that in particular. Some stairs down that way. And we're just gonna keep on walking and kind of um, highlight. Of course, this one would go down, go that way, which is kind of the river. So a lot of the boats would come. Um, I, actually, that area over there is uh, where the ship would come with land, because I guess other parts of Macau were kind of murky. So, but that big yellow one that says Pont 16, if you can read it, that huge yellow building, that's where the piers used to come in. So all the piers would come in there, and then people would come in and they would go to, um, there's this area called Hua de Felici Dodge, and um, kind of a main area down there. So they would come up down that main street and enter into the core of the city. And there's Sao Paulo ruins right there. So, so from the pier, you could get Sao Paulo ruins, the big church right there, the broken church. And, um, and so, yeah, that was kind of like a highlight. And actually this whole area was kind of the central part. But of course, the Pont 16 is now built totally different than it was historically. So before, that's when all the, all the boats would have came in there. And I guess that's a long time ago. I think it took like, now it's like one hour. Now the ferries are all gone from there now. They, they built ferries in other places now. But previously that would take, oops, gotta go this way. But previously I think that would take like, I, I forget, but I think people, I think it was like 10, 12 hours or something to get across to Hong Kong. And then, but I think at this particular location, um, a lot of people would um, go straight up to um, uh, Canton, which is the uh, Guangzhou now. So they'd call it um, Canton, which is people around here speak Cantonese. And uh, Canton would have been the big city, right, of all the Cantonese speaking people. So yeah, I don't know my Chinese history well enough to know. I guess, Be I don't know when Beijing became capital, but if you want to let me know, you can. But, um, but I think like I remember Xi'an used to be kind of a capital and I think maybe Guangzhou would have been the capital of South China. I don't know how it became integrated in China but I, don't, I, know, I know it has a separate history that could have went a lot of different ways I think. Pretty cool. Yeah and all of this right here is um, kind of goes up to northern Macau and then the border would be way up there. I'm just going to keep on walking around. 
showing you more of that, more of this Grand Lisboa Casino. And we're gonna keep on highlighting. Hello. Yeah, it's really nice. Kyungu Hospital, that's the biggest hospital in Macau. This wall is kind of low right here. I think it says, like, be careful. But yeah, there's Kyungu Hospital, so that's the biggest hospital in Macau. And the main one, I think they want to diversify more. So they're creating an, another hospital in Taipa. Um, the hospital isn't really known, is, isn't very good, basically. They bit, basically get their doctors from Hong Kong, but now with the COVID situation, the doctors can't come over. So right now the quality of healthcare is uh, pretty abysmal. So, big problem these days. Um, over this way we have Gia Hill. You can see Gia Hill right straight that way. And then Gia Hill is, is the tallest hill. So this one that we're on, I think is the second biggest one, I think. But that one also has some cannons on it and, some, and a big lighthouse. And they do all the typhoon stuff as well. So right now we're looking at Northern Northern Macau. Just keep on going around. And then we're going to be coming back to the other, to the original place in a minute. So there's Gia Hill. And you can see some paths down this way too. And then that's back to, back to where we started, basically. And then we'll just kind of come in here busking. Point of busking, Panto de busking. So let's just go right into the middle of it. And then we'll end this shortly. Or actually, I think what I'll do is I'll go down just a little bit. Because I want to um, show you this one little entry part. We overlooked it from that wall, but it has a nice historical value. Yeah, when you're up here, it's nice and flat. You wouldn't really realize that. Well, actually, you can see the views pretty clearly, so. And we're gonna just end up over here. Then we have this one. This is actually kind of historical as well. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Okay. The, for you, for you, uh, I won't, I won't explain that. <laughs> Maybe if people watch my view, my video often, they, they already know. All right. Then we come out here. It's called Fortaleza de Monte. That's the name of it. Oh yeah, I was gonna highlight that. There's lots of people out here too. That might be a separate video. Then you can come down different ways coming off of the mountain here. Grandis Boa. Then we can t take roads down into all this residential stuff everywhere. Okay. So that's our Fortaleza de Mont. Now we're just gonna come back in. Then we're gonna highlight this big red and white one right there. And that'll be the end of our video. That one right there. All right. A lot of history right here. Go check out the room. Oh, hey guys. Three things. Like, subscribe, make some comments below. It'll really help out my channel. All right. Chiquinha. Chiquinha.